In this video, we're going to show you how to test your app on your desktop computer before sending it to the app stores. So I have my app folder right here. All right, we're going to go and open up a terminal window, type in CD space, and then I'm going to drag my folder right into it. So basically, you're going to enter in the path of your folder and click enter. So now that we're inside of our app folder, we're going to type in expo start. Once this completes, it's going to open up a browser window. And basically, this is the log of what's going on when you're using your app. So let's go ahead and start a simulator. We have the run on iOS simulator right here because we're on a Mac and we have Xcode installed. So just note that before you run the iOS simulator, be sure to download Xcode from the App Store. It is a free software for developers. So we are opening the simulator right here. And we have the simulator running on an iPhone XR, which is running iOS 12.1. If you're looking to run it on a different device, you can click on the hardware at the top, go to device, iOS 12.1, and then you can choose any of the devices here. I, t I recommend testing it on the latest iPhone that they have, so XS Max or XR or whatever the latest phone is. And then, of course, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch second gen, which is the latest device at the time. All right, so we have our app opened right here. This is what it's going to look like on our iOS device. We can click and drag as we normally would. This is simulating the touching. So we have that. And then we have all of the tabs here at the bottom like we normally would. So we have our members. We have the events. And of course, we have the account login. So we can log into our account. And we have all that information here. So basically, what you should do while you have this simulator up and running is you should go through and test all of the features that you have. So such as going into your profile, editing the profile here, type in your first and last name, all of your information. You have all of your social media links you can test out. Uh, the more secondary menu, you can do that. You have your latest news, your privacy policy, whatever you have in that secondary menu. And then of course you can test out everything else. So we have to test out the, the favoriting options right here. If we wanna do that, we can share it. So once you click share, you have your share options, the report options, just to make sure everything's working. And then, of course, inbox where you can actually test sending messages and things like that. So we have all of those options. When you click on any of the listings, you can go through them, scroll up, and you have all of the different options here. See all of the different views and things of that nature. Just to make sure everything's working smoothly in your app. This is how we go through and test them all. So if we have the search up here, we have the ability to search just to make sure that it works. And of course it does. This is what you want to do before you send out each iteration of your app. You want to make sure that it's fully functional and you're going to get any error logs or anything like that showing at the bottom of the simulator. You're also going to get them inside of your terminal. So if you go into your terminal, you'll have all of the what's going on behind the scenes. And of course, you have the website right here where you can see anything that might be happening here. Anything that's an error will come up in red. So we have all of those options here. This is a great way to make sure that there aren't any bugs when logging in or anything like that. Um, just to make sure that everything works properly. Now if you need to test out push notifications, I recommend using this big QR code over here on the left, scanning that with your phone's camera, and then make sure, making sure that Expo is installed on your phone, using this to run Expo on your, on your device, just to make sure that it works. And you can use push notifications on your real device. It's a little bit more of a difficult situation when trying to test notifications in the simulator. So it's best to test it on a real device for those, for those cases. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below, and we will see you next time.